James Newman. This is the first in process mining IQ series of the path of the data, how to extract data from a source system, load data from a flat file, create an event log in Salonis, load a new data model and analyze it. So we're starting off here uh, in the first video talking about how to set up a connection. But even before that, I'm going to just give a little bit overview of what you're seeing here, how it all works together. So I call it the path of the data and this kind of visual that you see when you go into data integrations here, you click data, data integration. You see this nice flow going from your system, the data sources, into the EMS data integration, and then EMS data consumers, which is Studio. I've called it Arvark, not for any reason other than it comes up first when you list the data pools. Um, it's very handy. So you see right now I do have a connection set up already. Um, and that's connected to a server that I'm maintaining in my in my home network. Uh, uh, you might say that very, sounds very unsecure. It's, it's really not because all the communication is going out of my network and then touching the cloud. Um, so it's actually quite secure, um, quite easy to maintain, quite easy to set up. And I'm going to walk through a little bit of that right now. I'm in my app dev environment here, but I also have another tab open. I'm going to switch over which is the documentation on how to set up an on-premise extractor. That's basically what I've done here. And so the, what, it, what you use, you use a, is a Java file that has the, the plugins to a variety of different databases. In this situation, it's, excuse me, MySQL. And you, you set the file up to run, and then it just sits on the server and will occasionally ping uh, the EMS system. And so here are, are the kind of the, I'm not going to walk through all of it. Um, it's just important to know that it's a Java, all the docs are here. I followed it and it, it works pretty well, right? So I could go over to my terminal and show you, you know, in, in, on my server, this file is running as a service and it's going to just keep running there until I turn off my computer. Um, in which case you could kind of enable it to run all the time. So these are the instructions. I'm going to put this link in the, the video URL, or excuse me, in the video description, um, and it'll walk you through everything. So once you're done with that, you're gonna to get to the data connection here. And so now we're gonna talk about how to set up the data connection. Um, so you click add data connection, and it's gonna pop up a screen that looks exactly like this. There's really no difference except mine's filled out. Um, so I, I fill it in the name, MySQL connection. I selected the MySQL uplink. Um, so the uplink is what has the IP address of my, my home network and uh, so yeah this is the, it connects to the uplink. The uplink has the information about the MySQL server and the database type MySQL standard connection. So it gets a little interesting. So it said the host here is localhost. Um, that's because that's what it's telling the extractor jar file serve program that's running on my server machine that, oh, you want to go to the host localhost. So MySQL server is running on the same machine the extractor is running on. So I can just say localhost. If it was a machine that was, you know, same co-located but on a different IP address, you would put that host name in there. And then port MySQL 3306. And then the name of the database uh, in the SQL server, mine is just testing. And then you have to create a user um, that has the proper permissions to get to that database and then the user password. You do have some advanced settings such as maximal number of parallel extractions, timeout, pseudonymization, algorithm, things like that. Don't usually touch these. You might want to touch the parallel extractions if things are getting too long or too slow. Add another couple of extractions to that. So you test it, it'll ping, says, yep, it is good. So how that works is that I'm just changing, by when I click that button, I'm just changing a flag on the EMS server in AWS, Azure, wherever it happens to be in the cloud. And the next time that my server pings the cloud, it's gonna check and say, oh, yep, we wanna test that connection, and it's good. Uh, if it sits there for a while and it's not good, so if I go turn off the, my server, the test connection will time out after a certain amount of time, I think it's about 60 seconds, and tell you, oh no, we didn't, it's not reachable. 
It's not really not reachable. What it means is that, oh yeah, we're not getting a ping from it. It's not really alive. Um, so that's where that lies. So then once you get that, you save it. Don't want to say password. Um, it's been saved successfully. And so you can go and now and create data job, you can create an extraction. In the next video, I'll talk about that. So this was just about how, excuse my baby there, how you get into loading the data and kind of making that connection so you can load the data. Hope this was helpful. Please comment, ask any questions about how to use um, the data connections feature, but hope this was helpful. Have a great day.